Hello. Hi, Eric. Hi, Drifter. Hi, Kay. Hi, Terry. Hi, Uriel. Hello, everyone. Hello. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Sorry I was late. It's just that the internet had problems earlier, so I got late with the stream. And I just er and I was looking for food just now, but I wasn't able to find food. <sighs> Again, can the weekend come faster so I can buy food? Cause I'm out of food. I'm out of food. Hello, clock. Hiya. Hello, hello. So I don't have any food. I just have this. I just have milk. So I'm gonna just drink my milk. Cause I don't have food. No food for me for now. Ugh. Eh. So how's it going, everyone? How's it going? I hope you're all doing good. I've just a short talk before we start the game. I've actually read over your song request and strong recommendations. And let me tell you, like 90% I don't know the songs. The only songs that I know, I think, would be the Disney songs. Oh, we're about to go to Japan in 13 hours. Ooh. Have fun, Drifter. Have fun. Man, I want to go back to Japan. I want to go to Japan. Japan. Enjoy and have fun. I'm just drinking my milk for now. My nose is kind of blocked. One of my nose. No. So yeah, there might be a difference in how I speak for today, but that's gonna be fine. So anyway, guys. Um... I hope you have eaten food. If you haven't, go get something to eat. If you, I hope you have food that you can eat because I don't have any. I don't have any, which is sad, but eh, nothing we can do about that. So yes. Well, you can still, you know, input your song request because hey, maybe I might be. I'm gonna listen to them later after stream and then if I like some of the song I'm gonna learn them if they're easy to learn so I can still sing them so yes who knows your recommendation might be a song that I end up like you no know, liking for now so yes go ahead Eric go ahead give some suggestions or request Anyway, I think we should go continue um, playing Apollo Justice since this will be the last case for this um, first part of the game because you know these are three. This is a this is the trilogy version, so no three Ace, three Apollo Justice in one game. So yes. <laughs> so let's switch to the game scene. A severe case of poisoning. Oh, he had a job interview. Hello, it's me. Well, I hope you get the job. If not, then there, you know, there's still plenty of jobs around. So don't be too down. You'll find the job that's meant for you. Clock meant for you. Well, then go, 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 go recommend that song, Eric. 
recommend the song. Anyway, examination time. Empty. Yes, that is good clock. No need to get too worked up. You'll find a job that's meant for you. So don't worry too much. I'm just enjoying my milk here. So guys, how's your day so far? Has it been treating you guys well? The coffee cup. This is the coffee. This is the coffee mug with the poison. Poison. Just say, um, you gotta do it so you can find the job that's really, you know, works for you, clock. Because sometimes when we're rejected by the end job offer, our job interview, it means because there's a, there's a job, there's a place meant for us. It's been rolled in. That's great to hear, Eric. Great to hear. Have you have you repented? <laughs> have you? <gasps> have you? Have you? <laughs> yes, yes, you did. Uh huh. I hope so. I hope that you did, Ace. I hope that you have... No, you have repented. <laughs> for last... For yesterday's... Chat. Paintings. There is a hidden secret. Let's take a closer look. You take a pot of boiling water and hold the envelope to open the steam. To open it up to the steam, the glue melts and it opens. Oh, you can do stuff like that.
seven years ago. Hey, Snow! No, we won't allow Clock to go down that path. You know what happened to our previous <laughs> car to that previous character who did who became like that. He was arrested and he was even a detective. Um, clock? No, don't, don't, don't. Ace, I thought you have repented. Why are you suggesting stuff that's... <laughs> stuff like that, huh? Hey, look at the thing. Objection! See, I told you. <laughs> it's you, Apollo. See, you're making one of your flamboyant gestures. Um, clock? No! Well, it is true, you know. Apollo is flamboyant. Hello, Saul! Look at the frame. A tiny frame. Be sure to check the size when you buy first. <laughs> Obviously, I am doing good. Hey, so, so, so. Apparently, Ace told me that Ace already repented. So weird, Freeman. I hope you no. Know. Why would people feel that? Why would people do that? Why? Ooh. Well, you know, that's just the hard part when you try to make a uh, homemade cat food. You need to make it in a uh, um in little quantities so that it doesn't go expiring and stuff. So, you know, just make sure to um, lower down the quantities next time because you know how fast it would take to spoil. So, you know, you don't end up wasting food, cat food. Or what you could do is just add the raw eggs when you're trying to feed them. Like, um, when you're preparing their meals, that's the time when you add raw egg. So I, like, I saw videos about that wherein people would add the raw egg when they're just preparing for feeding their cats. So maybe you could do that thing. Oof, that's a bit sad. Wood signs. Do you guys don't do the thing anymore? 
That's a bit sad. Wherein if you try to show your badge to someone, they would react to it. But Emma didn't react to it. To it. We're in six signs. Don't forget, Flattery will get you everywhere with her, Apollo. Huh? What are you two whispering about? Well, I was thinking. I mean, what is it what we always do when we run into you at a crime scene? What is it we always do scientifically? So we examine this thing. This. Nothing else? Oh, we can move. Hello, Phoenix. Detention center. Hello, Vera. Hello, Vera. Yes, yes, we are. Oh. What? Why? Why? What happened? Okay. So we go to the Coliseum, I guess. Misham. Oh wait. Maybe I could ask Emma to scan this thing. There we go. Like, um, the the peach thing in Japan, where in there's a child inside the peach, and then the skies looks like from a starry night, though. Yes, Sol, you have to. You have to. You have to. I'll be right. Copyright. Let's check the mug for details. Yes, starry night with the sky. That is correct, clock. That is correct. Blue mountain. No, it's not. Poison! That is the poison. Yes! Hello, Super! Hiya! Uh huh, that's not. The why do people keep on saying that it's a blue mountain coffee? We're in six signs. It's not a hub. It turns blue when it touches poison. Can we keep that um um 
What's it called? That spray? Supa. Yes. From now on, you are Supa. 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 They say flattery, you get super chupa. I don't know, so you should find out on your own how. Poison analysis. I'm trucking in. I'm trucking in. The deadly poison. Acha! 15 minutes. Oh. Guess what? Mm hmm. He's going into the. Oh, the guard. Spraying stuff. Spraying stuff. Let's go. Why are you? What are you doing? I was just. How? Why would Apollo have poison? I'm not poisonous. Apollo is toxic. No, he's not. We spray. Fish, 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 fish. Why am I not seeing any type of poison, huh? What's the point of doing this thing? Why are we still on autoplay? Oh, she did say that she is free. I was spraying it earlier, nothing happened. What do you mean I'm poisonous all? I am not. I am not. Good evening, William. I am doing well. I am doing well. Just a bit sad because I don't have food right now. I have no food. So I'm, you know, I'm gonna be starving. I don't have food! <sighs> That's just a sad thing. Apollo is a gamer. Spray! Spray, 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 spray. Spray, spray. There's poison over here. Poison! Tiny frame. Do we think we can move now? There's nothing else we can do here? Or do we get to talk to? No. Oh. Oh, thank you, Ace. Thank you. We we're never gonna Thank you for the five. We're never gonna move on from the eggs, huh? Earlier we were talking about the, the raw eggs and now there's still carton of eggs. 
But it's expensive. Hello, Sonic! You know, uh, we just started like 30 minutes ago, so... Yes, you still, you're still early. It's the cheapest form of nutrients I could think of. Except Walmart are 12 here. Uh, that's a we well, you know, guys. Right now, food are very expensive. Food is very, very expensive. Twelve dollars. Sonic, why is it twelve? Like, how many pieces of veggies is, is that? Is that one dozen? Two dozen or stuff? Because why are they twelve dollars? Why is it twelve dollars? I'm pretty sure that, you know um, that, that's that's uh, that's a huge quantity. I hope. Might as well buy a whole chicken at that point. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe Sonic plans to you know incubate them. <laughs> And hopefully they all turn into chickens. Thanks for the one saw. Thanks. You're being scammed. Ace. Times are tough. Yes, yeah, times are tough. It's just a dozen. The plus taxes. Oh, you know taxes. Mm. That's that's so that's so expensive. Twelve dollars for a dozen of eggs. Why? Like why? Like we could buy a lot of things with that. <laughs> like if you're here with, on Ace's area, that's like two cartons, and you still have two dollars left. Your lips are sealed. You must live in a high income state. Oh, be no. Because inflation is pain. Oh, I know. It's Sonic that has the twelve dollar egg. Yes. Oh, what's this thing? Oh, the scanner thingy. They say a little brace can open big doors. Oh, it's also five there on your end. Maybe you know, Sonic. Do you live in a high income state, which is why inflation is high, and you're. Dozen of eggs is twelve dollars. I'm moving. Where do you guys live? <laughs> Sonic got ripped off because of the twelve dollar eggs. That's why you know they're planning. Sonic plans on moving now. An X-ray analyzer. The X-ray spectralization something. How are you not how can you not remember what its full name is? Now Sonic is questioning his life choices if he stayed at the right state because of the twelve dollars egg. The dinner eggs. Apollo, first he was he was sprayed by the poison detector or anything, and now 
Trus is using the x-ray analyzer on his hair. Poor, poor Apollo. Drink flicking. No, no, no. This time it's x-ray. X-ray ace. The weather is never the same. You know, I'm okay with weather's not being the same. But uh, what annoys me is like, if it's very fickle, like earlier it's just sunny and then later on it's like pouring down. So that's so annoying. The switches because, you know, that's, I don't know, just don't like that thing. X-ray machine to see. You used to be able to buy a five pack of gum for one twenty five here. Now you can, you only get three for the same price. Oh, well, that's just okay then, so because sometimes, um, the alternating of the weather daily is good. Like imagine if it's just been sunny for like a whole week. You, it just it just feels like you know you've been you've been in an oven being baked because of the heat and if it's so rain if it's it keeps on raining streets might get flooded which is not good so sometimes it's good to have you know weather that's pretty much sunny and then the tomorrow it's rainy or stuff like that sonic lives in cuba <laughs> He's saving up for a raft to swim to Florida. Poor Sonic. Just because of the twelve dollars, you know. Look at what. They... Ooh. Lottery ticket. Oh. And then patience. Okay, now what? Oh, well that's great to hear then, William. Okay. What you have to understand is that a sheet of paper isn't really flat at all. When you zoom in that much, you see paper is like a bunch of hills and valleys. It breaks down it breaks cards down into thin layers so it can only show what's written on that layer. Oh, that's pretty nice. I like everyone's at the reaction when it comes to comparing the prices of stuff. I'm waiting for Sonic's answer. How much can Sonic's? How much is a gallon of milk in Sonic's state? You lose. We lost. Ta da! I like this x ray analyzer thingy. 
we lost. 49. Half a gallon. Like, one gallon of milk in Saul's area is half a gallon only for Sonic. Ooh. Hello, Taku. Hiya. Hello. So, oh, Sonic, are you dying of hunger and thirst? <laughs> I live in a food desert. Oh, and then you can print it out. Ouch, you lose. Yes, can I borrow the thing? Oh, here we go. Mr. Drew Misham, I've deposited the one hundred thousand in the designated account. Please send the receipt once you've confirmed the transfer. Okay. I had a pizza once made of goat's milk. Oh, speaking of goat's milk, goat's milk is, you know, because of yakitate Japan, I've heard of that thing. Where in goat's milk is much more, um, less. Allerg can cause less allergies than cow's milk. I'm just saying, imagine water being that expensive. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Technically, I have a bunch of food to eat, but everything is processed. Is it because processed food is cheaper compared to, you know, unprocessed food, Sonic? Processed food tastes the best though. Well, you know, processed foods, you guys shouldn't, um, um, uh, shouldn't try to eat processed foods all the time. It's not healthy. Sonic State is trying to kill him for some reason. <laughs> From hunger. Second page. We just keep on scanning, scanning. And I'm getting food scanning. Sign the papers in send and close an envelope. With the enclosed stamp within three days. I need not remind you to speak of this to me, to no one. No, even if it's in the food system, no. No, so no. You gotta be, you gotta eat responsible. Spongeable. Spongeable. The statistics of processed food is terrifying. That is correct, Sonic. That is correct. You eat nothing but processed foods long enough, you'll get health problems. Yes, that's why I'm telling you guys to not just eat good processed foods. Eat, you know, healthily, guys, please. Please. Rice. 
Fruit is very expensive, you know. I like fruits a lot, but they're very expensive. Especially, you know, some stuff. Eating responsibly is cheaper as well. Cheaper than eating out. Yes, that is true. Preparing your own meals is cheaper than um, buying food. Especially, you know, fast food and stuff. Mm -mm. And here we go again with the eggs. Yes, rice is pretty much like potatoes. You can combine it pretty much with a lot. No, not the thing. Okay, thank goodness. It's all good now. Nope. I spoke too soon. The monitor is going cuckoo again. Not this thing again. <gasps> no! I don't want to... A great. Hey, can you get? I guess I really need to change the cable for this thing. It's like going. It's flickering on and off again, guys. The the hash slinging slash is back. Come on! Oh, great. Oh no, the game. Oh, ah, ah. Yes. I must switch it to the other side because you know, um, the monitor went cuckoo. It's it kept flashing, so I have to move the like look. I have to move the. Switch the windows to the other side again. There. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Everything is all good now. Uh-huh. It's because of the thing. It's because it was going cuckoo again. You know, remember yesterday when we were playing Talos Principle? We, we were like... Fixing the thing for quite some time. And I even... <laughs> get according to you guys oh no come on can you not, not i'm so annoyed with this thing i need to buy another i guess unnecessary expenses once again this, why won't it i'm so annoyed i'm so annoyed so I know. You please. It's not, not. I gotta change this thing really badly. It's going cuckoo now. And now it won't turn on. Hello? I'm gonna fix it first, guys. Just bear with me. Bear with me. Like, why are you not turning on? Mister? Hello? Open sesame. It does not. Are you okay now, monitor? 
Oh, thank goodness, it's good. Now I gotta switch the thing again. I'm gonna quit. Switch it to the other side. Yes. Yes. Da -da -da. And let's hope it doesn't go cuckoo again. Hello, Joker. Hiya. You know, the cord for the power supply of the other monitor. Anyway, I'm about to read chat for a bit. Rice with potatoes, yes. Rice with potatoes. Uh-huh. Hello. Oh, the game... Is it gameplay night with K? Joker, have you repented? <laughs> have you repented like... Um... Um... Like... Ace over here? Have you? Did you? What? I'm gonna move myself a little bit. To the left. I didn't notice. There. There! Much better! I knew there was something weird. There we go. Uh, we might evolve as a species into bad as vampires. Into clockwork. I'd eat anything if someone paid for you, Taku. Well, it is free. I'm doing good. It's just that the, the screen went Goku. Really here. Oh, I want to eat, you know, Wagyu steak. Those are, those are good, but really expensive, you know. Have you guys, have you guys eaten Wagyu beef? Once my grandma accidentally added too much salt to a pot of rice and added some potatoes and it was magnificent. Oh now I make now you make me want to try to get to make that Eric. I feel that like I have repented by being haunted all the time I sleep. See? See what happens when you don't try to... <laughs> because of what happened? Wagyu! Sleep paralysis? I even have my paralysis demon that have came to me. Know that one. <laughs> see? See? You know what? See? Now you know what to do, Joke. Now we know what ha what's the consequences, guys. You've had it super what... What can you say? What can you say? Did, how was it? How was it? I... I got traumatized. I hope you feel better, Joker. I hope you really do. <laughs> Need to be a good boy now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, yeah. I was in the Nippon, remember? Yes. Oh. I had Wagyu burgers before, those were pretty good. Yep, remember sleep paralysis is just your body shutting down and your brain accidentally remained alert. Mm hmm. That's actually really true. So, you know. Um when it when you experience sleep paralysis, the best thing you could do to um what do you call this? To get away from it is to like imagine yourself moving your fingers because that's the easiest thing and once you're able to move you'll probably break free from the sleep paralysis. It helps knowing that so you don't think a demon force is holding you down which is what it feels like. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. That's a pretty bad experience, Joker, if I have to be honest. If you feel like you're being eaten alive. Guess so, guys, be kind or something bad happens. <laughs> there is a story about a kid in Japan who did not sleep. The thing he was, he was awake because he was not sleeping that night. Yep. That what Saul said is correct. Um, every time we sleep, there's this chemical hormone that's being released in our body so that you know we don't try to move around too much because we might end up hurting ourselves. So yeah, that's probably it, but then your brain is just still awake, so that's what you're experiencing. Part record. Can we use the thing to examine the paintings? Like this painting over here? Emma? What did she give us? Let me check. Freeland. Top dollar for information. We talk to the journalist. Maybe you should try being a prosecutor in the defense. <laughs> Why don't I become a rock star too while I'm at it? I have a sleep paralysis demon in a skin tight skin tone green suit, green screen suit named Marshall. <laughs> That's a widely specific. Sleep paralysis demon, okay? I don't know why. Mm, let me think about it, Saul. Let me think about it. Hmm. You were gaslighting me last night, so... Is Saul already forgiven? Let me think about it. I am pondering. Wondering about it. <laughs> Good night, clock. Have a wonderful night and sleep. And I hope you get plenty of rest, so you're you still have you have and plenty of energy for tomorrow. Good night, clock. Anume. A, su a succubus. <laughs> now you made me remember how Sol reacted to the incubus persona. <laughs> the reaction. The reaction to that persona. <laughs> uncle Valent. And that her uncle, huh? Ace, you do know that's what Incubus and Succubus are. That's their origin, you know? So, yeah. Nobody is a Succubus Sonic. Freeman said that his sleep paralysis demon is a Succubus, though. Magic show. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, you're amazing. We get the picture. This guy is just too full of it. Okay. Too full of himself. Is 
seven year absence. What's that? A great magician, Trucy. So what happened? Well, that is a bit creepy. If I have to, you know, encounter stuff like that, Joker, I would also get scared. Well, not really scared, terrified, I guess. It's like Terry's thing. I think I've only, I've only ex experienced lip paralysis once. Yeah, I think I only experienced it once. But other than that, I have never experienced it again. Yeah, it was only just one. Well, I guess I'm lucky. I don't you know. You, yes, you, nameless face who speaks for the nameless masses. Seven years. Performance of Magnifique Miracle was impossible. Oh. How does it get triggered anyway? Like, it's you go struggling in and out of consciousness. Because are you trying to fight off sleep or something like that, Saul? I got I just got recommended the channel called Pickle Time who is streaming. I thought it was a case of Pickle Time. Oh so that's why, huh? But you know when you're encountering sleep paralysis it feels like it's like a minute or a second feels longer. Oh, oh, did you guys know? Uh, there's this thing called, they said that at night, where for example, um, when it's a bit dark, you could, if you stare at the mirror long enough, you're like gonna go, um, your imagination's gonna go crazy and then you're, you're gonna be able to see stuff that you're not supposed to see. I don't know if that's true though, but yeah, it's just something I've learned. I used to have this recurring dream in which I would wake up only to realize I was dreaming which would cause me to wake up only to realize I was you were stuck in a dream thingy, okay? Oh, you know, speaking of dreams, um, I would like to be able to try lucid dreaming one at like at even just one time, you know, like being able to fully control your dream. That's so nice. Also, it's triggered by staying up too much over long periods of time to no or little sleep. Okay, so guys, you've learned. So you guys heard what Saul said. Make sure to not stay up too much for a long time and with no sleep or little sleep only because you might encounter sleep paralysis. I'll put a mirror on my suit. You go... Are you gonna try the thing, Sonic? Are you gonna try it? Are you gonna try staring at the mirror 
at night when or when it's dark and then once you stare long enough you're pretty much it's pretty much like you're gonna hallucinate and see things that you're not supposed to see like i don't know I think I had a lucid dream once, but I got like, so excited, I woke myself up. Oof. You know, people have tricks to be able to determine if they're dreaming. And then, um, that's that time when they realize that they're dreaming. And then now, they when they're lucid dreaming. Like, um, uh, I think one of the most effective things is staring at your watch. Because in a dream, time doesn't time stands still. So no matter what happens, your your watch will never you know move. So you'll be able to find out that you're in a dream or something like that. Yes. Yes, I am Sonic. Yes, I am. Yes. Speaking of sleep, I'm getting a bit sleepy. I might sleep a bit while listening to your song recommendations. Do what? The, the mirror thingy? You're the chicken? Come on, you can do it, Sonic. I know you can do it. Anyway, I'll continue with the game. We got stuck. I was enjoying the conversation. I'm so sorry. I hope you feel better since Joker. Don't worry about your sleep paralysis that much. As we all know, um, we've already explained the scientific thing about it earlier. Like, solved it and, you know... I'm the one who scares and not, not the one who likes being scared. You hate mirrors, Ace? I keep seeing the back of my head instead. Huh? Why are you seeing the back of your head, not your face? Uh -uh. Ace, are you not human or something? Yes, it is fun, Kate. It is. I wonder when you'll do just chatting streams. Are you guys interested in just chatting streams? But that's gonna, you know. Well, maybe we could try to do like two hours of gaming and then one hour of just chatting. Because I don't know what we're gonna talk about for three hours if we just do just chatting, you know? That's gonna be a long time of, you know, just babbling and stuff. Hello, Titan! Welcome! Isabel needs that just chatting stream. Your reflection is broken. Uh huh, Ace. I don't, uh, you know. I know that people do chatting streams, but you know, I don't know what we're gonna talk about. Like, uh, you know, it's hard to think about stuff to talk about most likely we're, we're probably gonna be talking about some something weird like something random random topics like right now we're just talking about dreams all of a sudden no i'm not saying chatting is boring chatting is really good but if you don't have any specific topic or you don't have uh like not like right now chatting is really nice and good you know that's why i i was in i ended up not being too focused on the game because i'm enjoying the conversation but if you don't have any topic that's when you can say chatting is a bit boring it's just that right now our conversation is from chat is flowing really nicely so it's really nice but if it's not like that then i don't know Mm hmm Three hours of talking about dreams. Oh, that's a bit hard, you know? Three hours, well, there's a lot of things we can talk about dreams. But yeah. 
We want to hear you babble though. <laughs> you guys want to? Mm -hmm. That's the whole point. Chat brings up what to talk about most of the time. Yes, you guys do. You know, maybe I could... um, I could... Tell that to manager son. About the chatting stream. And then, you know. We shall see. We shall see. Hey, what if you guys try to, you know... Um, convince manager son and... In the Discord channel, maybe Manager San will allow us to have, you know, just purely chatting streams and stuff. Maybe because I haven't asked about that thing yet, so I don't know. Weird and random, yes. Like, you know, it's really nice to talk to people, and you know, just this, the conversation is just flowing. And you don't even know that you're jumping from this topic to another topic just randomly, just like that. There's nothing wrong with random topics. It's just that when you run out of topics, I, I, I don't know. The brain... <laughs> because sometimes there are topics that are not really interesting and it's really hard to hold a conversation when it comes to stuff like that. That's just the problem with, you know, let the conversation flow. You seem to get really into the conversation, the nerdy. Here it is. You know, um, it's just that I have this weird, um, influx of knowledge, of random knowledge because of what I just read uh, randomly and stuff like that. That's why, you know, I get, I have plenty of weird informations. Oh, sorry, I stopped talking. I haven't been even paying attention to the game. I don't even know what they were saying now. <laughs> 60 is the speed limit in a small city. Yes, I have, Saul. Yes, I have. That permission thing i've mentioned it before on another stream but you know oh yeah speaking of which um um i've mentioned before in a stream where in i don't know when it comes to animals i'm not sure if it's just animals but i hope so um like i can smell that death yeah i can smell death so i can pretty much um tell if you know, the animal's time is um, about to end. And most of the time, it's pretty sad because, you know, you're able to tell it before it happens. But most sometimes it's quite useful, you know? Like back um, just recently, like, I don't know, like a month ago or something. Um, one of my nickels got sick. Like, it really got sick. I think it's the flu because you know um when cats have flu it's really really um it can turn into something very dangerous for them and then uh, i was i was really worried about her because she's like sneezing a lot and then she's like drooling and stuff like that and she has this she has a smell like i don't know what the smell is but it's it smells different from, you know, when, when I can smell that. So, I was like, I'm just chill. I know she will get better. She won't cross the rainbow bridge yet. And, you know, that's one of the times where I'm really glad I have that thing. And then, after like two days, she got better. Well, she still sneezed a bit, but she's way better. She's not drooling and stuff like that anymore. But, you know, that's one of the times I'm really happy that I have that thing. Okay, bye, Drifter. Good night. Good luck with your laundry. Good luck with your errands. And thanks for dropping by. I hope so, um, if you can, I hope you're able to, you know, we're gonna do a karaoke stream tomorrow, but I think that's gonna be 
on around 6 a.m. in Japan. I'm not too sure, but I think so. So, if you are able to join us, even if that's the we the time, then you know. I hope so. But have a wonderful trip and good luck. Good luck, Drifter. I saw the Olympus map from Apex in my dreams before it was here. Oh, really? Yes, Neko got sick. Not really ammonia, but she smells like, you know, someone who's really sick or something like that. But it's different from the smell of that. The smell of that is... I don't know. It's like, um... I... I'm the only one who can smell that. Because back then, when I have... When some of my previous cats died, I can smell it, but no one's commenting about it, so I just kept my mouth shut. Because if they don't smell it, then I don't know, maybe I'm the only one. So that's why I said that I can smell death. Like, it's a certain smell every single time when um, my some of the cats that I took care of, you know, Cross the rainbow bridge. Yes, Sonic. Yes, I am. It's much better to post the song request on the community section because it might get, you know, um, it might get bumped up when people are chatting on Discord. So I prefer to, I prefer if you guys just comment your song request on the community tab. Death in absentia, he declared, missing permanently. Well, they're all good now. None of them got sick, and then it's just like the that's like our that's like the flu. Apparently, all four of them ended up be, being infected, and they were all sneezing all at the same times. <laughs> at times, though. At least like three to five. You can you can actually just type your request. I'm not sh because I am not sure if I'll be able to sing all of the songs because if I don't know them, I'll try to learn them. If I'm able to learn them, I will be singing it. But if I'm not, then I'm terribly sorry, but I won't be able to sing it because I don't want to butcher the song. <laughs> because it's not really you know um. Okay, okay. It's not really nice to listen to a budget song, in my opinion. So, yes, you could just, you know, write your song request because I'm still gonna end up trying to see if I know them. So, yeah, no, no worries. But I'll try to, you know, I'll try to be able to sing the songs that you requested. Hopefully, I get to learn them. Hopefully, guys. Hopefully. Yeah, the Nikos are pretty much um always around me. They pretty much won't leave me be. Let me be. And they're just always nearby. No matter what the time is. Can you not point with me with your staff, mister? A little bit of something like that, Eric, I think, but there's this, it's, it's really hard to describe, but I guess you could say it's similar to what you mentioned, but yeah, that's the thing. When they are approaching the end of life, they lose the energy to groom and begin begin to look messy and unkempt. You see, the thing is, in my part, it's like it's not um it's it's it takes a bit longer. Like they would look um what do you call this? 
they would look okay. It, that's like a day or two before, you know, it their conditions get worse or stuff like that. Favorite genre of music? That's tough, Sonic. Because if you would look at my... <laughs> at my... On my, my, if you look at my playlist, there's like anime, there's like, you know, English songs and different lang songs from different languages. There's even classical music, just some lo-fi. Some stuff, random thingies, random thing, random genres, Sonic. And yeah, like there's, I think there was a French one. Uh, and uh, I forgot the other languages, but I have different types of song me songs that that I listen to. So if you try to play my playlist on shuffle mode, you'll never know what. It's hard to guess what's the next song. Um. Technically, I don't have a playlist, Taku. It's just... You know, the like songs on, on Spotify. It's so random, like... <laughs> and, and there's a few K-pop songs, there's English songs, there's anime songs, classical music, some lo-fi, some songs from games, the soundtracks, and things like that. It's just so random. So terribly random. Okay, sure, Sonic. Go ahead. Just go ahead. Don't you worry. Oh. My songs are filled with different genres to old songs, new songs, metal, pop, rock, anime, Spanish, classical, techno, game, OST. And you know, as long as I like a song, I would immediately put it in my like songs. And then there you go. There we go. So, you know, it's just so weird. So, for example, we're 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 traveling, and you let me play my like songs on the on the on the on the thingy. It will be so weird. Like we could be jamming to to some um um anime song, and then later on it will switch into a classical music piece. So yeah. That cloying smell of mint when he smiles. You gotta make a place for when there's people around like I do. And I, you know, I just end up like listening to it by myself. I would just listen to, to, to my to my music by myself because it's just so weird hello mikito momo how are you it's nice to see ya yeah you know i i enjoy talking with you guys a lot so it's fine it's because the game is just a visual novel so with a lot of you know explore um, investigating and stuff like that but if it's if, if, if I can tend to talk more with you guys when games are like this because I it's like I can 
momentarily let the screen be and just listen look at chat and talk to you guys unlike when i'm playing like tales of rights or some games like that i cannot do that because one if you look away from the screen for a moment you might end up dying so you know games like this help me be able to just talk and chill with you guys and it's just a rare thing since you know i i tend to be able to not focus that mu much on chat when i'm playing some the other games so eh, it's pretty fine so what i'm just sure is we won't be able to finish this case for the day for this stream <laughs> because you know we've spent some a lot of time talk just talking and letting you know the game be what do you mean look what he said guys so a painter has died what of it mister He's not. Is it not more miraculous for it to stay ripped? No. He must have really not liked that journalist. Press to digitation preparations. This guy is using deep words, guys. Do not pass go, do not collect one not two hundred. <laughs> Monopoly guy. Is he Monopoly guy now? Okay, we're gonna go visit Vera. What is your last resort, Joker? Here's the journal guy, the journalist guys. There's down witnesses on stand till they spill beans. End quote. Who? This guy? Taku? I don't trust this man. <laughs> this journalist? Are you a reporter by any chance? Trucy Wright hates carrying a bag, puts everything she owns in her panties. End quote. Here we go again with the panties. Eek, that's so not true. Just hold on to your breeches there. I'll wrap up this interview in a jiffy. Guarding rooms is my life, what else could I possibly need? End quote. This guy, the guy that says end quote a lot. I don't want to deal with this guy. What a pickle. Our kids wouldn't talk, had to interview someone or go plum crazy and don't. Oh, where is there hiding? Weird. He's weird. He's weird. Not picky, journalist just close his eyes, writes. What's it? No, nothing. 
Strong mint smell every time he grins. That's what Valen said earlier. If he doesn't stop smiling like that, I'm gonna get the taste. <laughs> no, William, no! His smile. His smile, William. While drawn through crossroads of mayhem, madness, and code. <laughs> you may want it on standby, William. <laughs> he looks like a nice fella. Don't be so mean. <laughs> Look at where he's riding his stuff. It's on his arm. It looks like something I'd seen in a dark alley. <laughs> or while having a fever dream. Don't tell me he looks like one of your sleep paralysis guys. Titan, this guy definitely did whatever the crime is. You're judging him too much, Titan. Hi, Paikin. Hello. Yes, we're talking to a weird guy. Oh, yeah. I forgot to wear my outfit. Wait, guys. I'ma be back. I am back. I forgot about this thing. Well, if he's not the criminal, he's definitely an alien in a human suit. <laughs> Look at his smile, guys. <laughs> Titan got a point, same as William. <laughs> uh huh, he's a nice guy though. Let's go capture the boss. Let's go, I captured the boss. The night of the crime. Let's find out what he's doing at the night of the crime. So, Mr. Brussel, what are you doing at the night of the crime? Care to tell us your, um, your alibi, mister? The only other person I know who smells like that is the Joker from Batman. And he was at the studio. Mm hmm what is it? Never looks back. Uh-huh. Is he using a toothbrush to 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 Comb his hair or something? Whose origin story, Titan? Who, who, what, when, where? The interview! He was interviewing the victim, guys. Or is he using that to polish his thinning spots, guys? Look at his hair. It's just in the middle of his head. Like, and he's tapping his toothbrush on the shiny part of his head. Is that how he keeps it shiny? Or is it that, or is the toothbrush his comb or something? I don't know. Mm hmm
Okay. What about your, your what what do you need? My opinion for it for so what am I supposed to say? Are you gonna send a photo of it? It said it's toothbrush like yes. Yes it is. Thank you, Pikin. Thank you. Ah, oh, thank you, Terry. Thank you. Wait, wait, what did it say? Walls have ears, eyes, especially glass walls with speakers. What is it, mister? Oh? What about it? I'm gonna get sleepy because his story is really long. It's white rice with chicken and stir fry veggies and the sauce is spicy ketchup. Good or no? I think that's good. That's a balanced meal because you have um the veggies and then you have protein for the chicken and rice for the carbohydrates i think if i remember my food correctly then yeah what where Ta-da! Someone stole an oil painting of a peach down the of a giant peach on the river. Okay, I will check it out later, so. I will check your food out later. The paintings. Are we gonna scan the paintings? And what's with the I know something but I'm not telling. I know something. You don't. Take that! Oh wait, I turned off auto. It was stolen, no? I'm gonna go grab my my Oreos. I'm I'm hungry. Wait, guys. We got it. Oreos. Honey bacon jalapeno burgers before. Oh, I want those. I want. That's all the honey bacon thingy. I swear after learning the techniques of flavoring my foods by cooking it in sauces has opened my mind. You know, it's actually good to cook your own meals because you can um you can switch it up depending on how you like it to taste. You guys have a lot of name Pikin. Like, you guys are the guildies. You guys are the halflingers. <laughs> the halflingers. This is just snacks while waiting for food. Eric. Oh yeah, Drifter is going to Japan, so that means Drifter is able to buy the Pokemon Oreo thingies that I have. The Halfling Flash <laughs> Titan. 
Mm-hmm. I wonder if Drifter's gonna buy the Pokemon Oreo thing. He might. Numbing is a ASMR. I'm not really. I'm just eating here. Can you you guys hear the nom nom? I like Oreos a lot. Yep, Misham was a forger. You can hear the chewing song? Really? Here's all sure. I guess you guys can hear just me nom when I'm talking. But if I'm not talking and I'm chewing the thing, you guys won't be able to hear it. He's a forger. <laughs> We're vicariously eating ours through you, and you're eating the Pokemon Arios. That I still have given to me. Well, we'll be using the thing, I think, now. Yes, we asked Emma to help us out. Hey, lady. Can we scan this thing? Here we go, guys. I hope you guys will will not get shocked when you see what this is about, what the painting is about behind that forgery thing. This is one of my favorite cases of the game. It's almost there. Ta-da! For those people who have watched the first stream about this game, you'll know what this is about. Yes, Titan Poker! Mm hmm
Yep. Trucy didn't notice. Next, another one, guys. Another painting that has a rough sketch that is, I'm pretty sure, pretty familiar to you guys. about this one is it familiar huh guys don't you remember this thing because i certainly do hello Saul. welcome back nope not slenderman and the last one <laughs> the salty udon. <laughs> Eric remembers the udon. <laughs> then how about this one? <laughs> Look at these three sketches. Do you not do you notice anything? Ta -da -ta -ta -ta. The poker, the noodles, and then the burning man playing a guitar. Mm hmm Yes, they are. Burning are of the three cases I worked on. Ta-da! Mm-hmm. The murder in the poker room at the Porsche Bowl, Bowl Club. The dead man pulling the noodle stand. And then, the flaming guitar. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We don't know. We don't know. Is you and Misham your father? Of course not. They were my. They were my kisses, John, to his canvas. Every single one of them. The reporter. The one who drew this was the victim. You don't really like him, huh? The reporter. Well, the trial is now starting. We haven't. We weren't even able to talk to our client. She's so quiet. doesn't want to talk to us oh there you go finally she spoke
I like to even doodles. That's so that, that's so nice. That's so adorable. Don't be mean to her, Super. She's our client. And now, Cord is in kitchen once again. Begin the earth trial. Of what's with? What's wrong with you, Mister Judge? Why, why is he nervous looking? Oh yeah, it's because it's the case thingy. Today's the test of the Jewish system. And the first step toward a new order in our car. Cut. Daddy's secret mission. Jurors will function like a judge. It is hoped that their inclusion will help the courts to better reflect the people's will. Why aren't there any jurors in the courtroom? Three closed circuit cameras watch this courtroom at all times. The jurors have access to everything that transpires. I really like his team song, guys. It's just such a banger. See, like, look! Listen to the thing! It's just... Da -da 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 -da. It's the report. He's trying to steal a new skin suit. The judge! <laughs> Titans! He looks like a Pokemon villain. He's not that willing to Jojo. <laughs> because of the hair? Tan 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 tan. Da 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 da. Jurists judge well and judge cool. Oh no, it's not the German guy. What? He's adorable. He's nice. They don't affect the trial with the evidence, but by their feeling. And we're about to find out just what effect they, they're going to have. Why, so Why? What's with the... Ugh. Why? You don't like Clavier? You don't like Clavier? Why? He's like the best prosecutor in the entire series, you know? No, he's not. He. <laughs> when Clever is on screen, no other man exists, and that makes us jolly. <laughs> like, come on, look at him. And the way he handles the trials, even if he loses the case, it's he's fine with it. He dyes his hair, so... I didn't... Last year. Look at him. Ace. Atrokinen. 
a chemical compound that does not occur naturally. Lethal dosage is a mere 0 0.002 milligrams? That's the lethal dosage? That poison is scary. Real scary, I tell you. Is the touch of the Reaper Scythe? Titan! You know? Sooner or later, I think you guys are also gonna like Clavier. Especially because of this um, trial. I really liked how he handled this last trial. Oh no. It's Mr. Smiley, huh? Uh-huh. Guys, Mr. Smiley is back. Okay, you guys don't like Clavier, so I guess you like Mr. Smiley instead. Yes, Sonic, yes. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> In other words, a freelance journalist, huh? Right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but you are a journalist. Look at his smile, guys. Look at his smile. Look at him smiling. And the rosy cheeks. I mean, well, not really rosy, but pink cheeks, I guess. <laughs> yes, he is, Sonic. Yes, he is. I don't want to look. <laughs> There, he's not smiling. He's not grinning anymore. <laughs> no, he means to the guy. <laughs> Imagine that face being the last thing you ever saw. <laughs> and he's hitting... You know, they, I don't know if he's combing his hair with the toothbrush or he's just, you know, cleaning the bald spot with <laughs> the toothbrush. A simple case, eh, Gavin? For me, the jury is still out. He's just itching his ball spots. Yes, face. <laughs> I'm exhausted and I just know I'm gonna see that face in my nightmares tonight. <laughs> Good luck with sleeping, Titan, I guess. Atelier. Journalistic history made and code. Look at him. Look at him, guys. Look, look at his face. He, he looks like, um, um, from, you know, the Steamboat Wheelie uh, cartoons. The old, old school Mickey Mouse thingy. With his face, facial expressions, do we have to? Yes, yes, he. <laughs> you have to look at him. <laughs> yes, that is true, Saul. He looks too niche. Mm -hmm. Whatever happens, are and is innocent, even if they have video for actually stabbing the artist, it wasn't. <laughs> hey, it's death by poison, Titan. Death by poison. He looks like he was in he he was in who framed Roger Rabbit. 
death by poison, then Virgil couldn't have done it. Uh-huh. Prosecutor Gavin sure looks like he's having fun. I'm so happy for him. Mm hmm Send money over. Wait, um, um, Trucy has been like, Trucy has been, you know, a fan of Clavier since the very moment she saw him, I think. Like, come on, who's not gonna like this? Star Prosecutor Leader slash Vocalist for the Rock Group, The Gaviners. Bro said Zoe. Zoe. He's gotta go. He gotta... He's gotta go. See? See Ace? Like, look, look at... Look at his stare. Like, look! Mr. Clavia. Then, ha. Huh. How about here? How about this one? How do you. <laughs> then you can guys look. You guys can look at this guy instead. How about this? Do you get lost in this ice? <laughs> huh, guys? No, no, I don't. <laughs> so... The star's coffee or the moment of death? Either of the two would be good. But... I think we need to, the, the coffee. Yeah. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, nope, I went as far as... I was far away from that ISIS mess. Those eyes as possible. <laughs> you know, I kind of want to like to stay here in this, in his look, in this photo. I mean, in this scene for you guys. Uh huh. Stop smiling. <laughs> He looks so weird when he's like Le and then ni and then e I live in a man sees dog eat dog and writes about it world Especially for you guys Normal humans don't move their heads like Hey don't don't say that Ace you know what he hates the most jumping to conclusions he just said earlier ago Hey did you see his nose guys Earlier, it like looked like a clown's nose. It was just a short second, but I hope you guys saw the nose. Does this guy have a pause button? Yes, please. Because... 
Atrokinin is a slow acting deadly poison, so that cannot be the truth. He's carving the summoning rune into his arm. Stop him. Objection! A lethal dosage of 0 0.002 milligrams paralyzes the central nervous system. If you drank that, even you, Mr. Justice, would be reduced to a quivering pile. Why are you using me as an example? But that doesn't come upon ingestion, not immediately. According to one forensic scientist, it's one of the most virulent poisons, but is but is a <coughs> but it but is absorbed into the body's astonishingly slow. It takes at least 15 minutes from the time of ingestion for adverse effects to show. Brussel. Brussel, yeah. I like the way he slams his fist. It's not on the desk, but he hits the wall behind him. He's so cool when he does that, as in when he objects. Oh, gee golly, what a fascinating display. Oh, I'm sure the readers will love this. Yeah, he's German. He's German. That's why he says, yeah. Was a not so subliminal suggestion, end quote. And you will be forced to say farewell to your article. Guten Tag. Oh no. I think you guys are not gonna like him much more now. Look at him. I'm wait I will not move this key this to this app I will not skip I will not move to the next scene until I see your reactions. <laughs> Everyone's reaction. <laughs> William, are you there? Take a look at the screen if you're not there. <gasps> Ace! Look, look at him. So, what are your thoughts about him now, guys? Huh? <laughs> Maybe. Have a change. I saw this years ago, some people snort snorting <laughs> the same. I thought it got worse. 
He's using his tongue saliva to clean his glasses, then taking his glasses smudges and rubbing his tongue with it. Not a thing. Not human. <laughs> Actual bodies. <laughs> no boy. <laughs> Okay, okay, we, we, I am convinced that he's talking with some other, some sort of cultism. So he's leaking in. <laughs> he's definitely turning into something, William. Attorney. They're not utterly confused and so. Takes its sweet time. The antidote for a poisonous contradiction and coat, you might say. I still have no idea what you're talking about, end quote, I might say. <laughs> Apollo is just so done with him. Oh, excuse me, why well, I changed my entire testimony. Of course he wouldn't choose a simple case, not him. Phoenix! Him? Phoenix right, who else? Report for us if you would. What is it that you noticed? This court is a critical trial of the jurist system. I'm afraid no room for doubt is permissible. You will testify to the court about what you noticed. We're not giving this man a backstory. I do not want any more of it. <laughs> the very first time I saw you guys, um, really not like a character in this entire series. As a quadratic equation, end quote. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the en the envelope. It all started when I was a hatchling on the planet. <gasps> Titan, you're really into the alien thing. Mm-hmm. He doesn't even knock. Are you sure that's okay to do? I mean, isn't that unlawful entry? Just because the door is open does not mean you can just barge straight into the thing, you know? Add to testy moment. A yellow envelope. It's not yellow. It is a red one. Objection! The desk slam.
in a red envelope. <laughs> did you guys see that? Did you guys see what he did with his tie? <laughs> when he's pressured, he would he would just pull his tie and it would squeeze his face, entire face. Shape-shifting animal. <laughs> and what about the whole red and yellow envelope contradiction, chum? Earthworm Jim in disguise. It's impossible. Ah, I like your expression. So full of confidence. Forensic scientist, what? Note that this letter is addressed to Drew Mission. It's sad. Look, look, look. Guys, his theme song! His theme song is finally out! <laughs> I would like to hear your thoughts on what you can say about his song. Cute for him. It's too cheery for such. <laughs> I think it's because he's like a clown or something. Especially the starting thing, it's like his entire personality is like a clown, you know? Oh, he's a clown, alright. Oh, it's the song they use for Dr. Hot. Oh, is it the, the weird doctor that uh, Phoenix is, you know? And hold on. So it's the weird those theme song than Sonic, huh? He's the entire circus. Ah, oh, I miss Edgeworth. That's one of Edgeworth's... Um, Coat back then, you're not just the you're not just a clown, but you're the entire circus. I miss Edward in that thing.
Look at his nose. Look at his nose, guys. He really is like a clown. Look, 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 another. I'm waiting for the exp I'm waiting for your reactions. I wanna see, I wanna see your reactions. And the carnival and the stand up. <laughs> William, look. I have no reactions left in me. He's, he got you speechless, Ace? <laughs> William. He's sniffing out on you, Scoop. He ruins the color pink. I no longer like it because of him. Um, I hate to state what should be pretty obvious to anyone, but when you catch the scent of the story, you make that a rather unique face. I like that Apollo is still nice and just said rather unique. <sighs> Even I noticed something and my eyes aren't what they used to be. Let's judge. You know, I'm starting to understand what all this perceiving stuff is about. Judge's active imagination and go. The ball looks so done with everyone. Well, I hope he has to deal with the weirdo and the judge. That was about the scent of a story. Oh no, not this thing again. Hey, I'm the one asking the questions here usually. <sighs> Why am I here just to suffer? And take note, Phoenix is the one who made him the lawyer in this the pet the defense in this part, you know? So you threaten to go to press with the story. Black blackmail. He even admitted to be to blackmailing. This guy. He looks like the type. Mm -hmm. While you have me chatting away in here, what's going on out there? What if some Wally Waltzworth or Sally Scooper gets wind of my story? Guys, guys, look at this thing. Thank you, penguin clips. 
I think your I think your impression of him is going down no the far <laughs> The more we stay talking to this guy Everyone's reaction He's nervous so he's his his pits are sweating because he's lying or something. Gotcha. Use talent. Sweat much, Mr. Brussel? Brussel? Oh, look what he says. A man can't help his glands. It's more than that. When Mr. Misham's talent was mentioned, he suddenly began to sweat buckets. You're hiding something about his talent. Evidence time. The talent you've mentioned. Girls. Saul, so, was Saul able to see the thing? I don't think Saul was able to see him sweating. <laughs> Dang it. It's this thing. Aw, oh, you weren't able to. That's too bad. I would have wanted to know your opinion when you saw, when you see him, you know. Saul so, ran to save himself. So. Oh, your mother needed help. But I hope you, whatever she needed help with is already, you know, good. Give me a pic. I wanna see. Well, you know, after stream, you could go back to the thing. Just, and, and, and it's like 2 minutes and 34, 2 hours and 34 seconds, 2 minutes, Sal. 2 hours and well, not really 34. I guess you could say 2 hours and 30. You can find him sweating his pits. <laughs> yes, 2 hours and 30. You can go back to it and see him sweat. Sweating because of the thing. Forgeries. Look. That was a longer time. Like, look, guys, look at him. <laughs> I thought you're just gonna use the taser. Why is it the, the flamer now, huh, William? Forgery. The taser can stop that thing. It must be purged. Forging evidences. Forge evidence net. Tidy profit and coat. Oh, and remember, guys. Remember who was stripped of his defense, his defense badge because his lawyer badge because of a certain thing seven years ago. Certain someone we know. Oh. Well, condolences to your family. Larry, I hope you're, you know, you feel better. I know it's gonna take a while, but I hope you do feel better and... You know, you can just stay here and if you if you want to have fun and just, you know, be happy. We'll be here for you. Sorry to hear that, Larry. And 
yeah, I hope you feel you and your family um feels better soon. We really, you know, it's fine. No worries to not uh if you can show up to the stream because I know that's um gonna be really a tough, uh hard time. But yeah, I hope you do feel better soon. Hey, 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 the only thing I poison is my pen when I'm writing reviews. <laughs> Sending you some, you know, some happy vibes and some hugs, Larry. I hope you now you feel better. Journalism is rock solid. You could stand an elephant on it. Oh, so many quotes. Something left the studio. The envelope. Are you sure? Hi, it's Guy. We're not talking about you leaving, mister. You're not supposed to choke in a serious situation like this. Just one thing, the envelope. Yes. Believe me, any comic relief I may provide is entirely unintentional. You can stay here as much as you want and we'll just, you know, we, we can have, we can just relax, have fun and just hang around and, you know, talk to one another. So, whenever you feel like you need some, some support or something, I'm pretty sure everyone here is pretty much gonna be nice to you. So, don't you worry about it.
Hehe. <laughs> it changes everything because we found a thing. The tiny frame. You sure about that? I was busy gobbling mint candies the whole time. But no wonder he's. <laughs> Don't tell me you're still trying to prove this. You think the victim ate, drank, or otherwise ingested something other than coffee? Yes. I can prove it! The electric air guitar! Hey! He looks so awesome! He looks so cool! You do understand what we need, yeah? Proof! Of course! And Prosecutor Gavin, I hope you understand. I'm ready to give you that proof! Damn, yes. As we all know, stamps come with dried glue on the back. In order to use the glue, you have to wet it by licking the stamp. <laughs> no one worth talking to actually licks stamps in this day and age. Objection! You're welcome, Larry. Mr. Mission poisons the coffee mug himself because he licked up, he licked the poison and then he placed his mouth on the cup, on the mug. I mean, Tada! Uh-oh, his nose is picking up another scent. <laughs> Apollo looks so done with Brushel. The stamp is the thing that left. Actually, I'm glad no other stamps were found. It makes proving the stamp he used was poison possible. We can! Take that! A tiny frame. Well, that certainly is a cute little frame. And by little, I mean really little. It was on the victim's desk, your honor. Quite empty as you can see for yourself. I noticed that too during my inspection, so what? And ah, uh, apparently you weren't as observant as you'd have been. You see, when you saw this frame, it was missing quite something quite important. A pale bluish stain on the inside of the frame. Atrokinin residue. What? Well, I wasn't... I told about this. 
The frame is only 2 inches square. The face of the frame is even smaller. Maybe an inch wide at most. You aren't saying... It's a frame for... Stamps, I guess. Oh, but I am. Tell me, what fits in such a small frame? A commemorative stamp, perhaps? Why would he put something like that on his desk? Don't tell me he had it there so he could commit suicide if the mood struck. Yes. The, forge the victim was a forger, right? There's a lot of money in that line of work. Forger forges friends. Makes enemies too. Because you know, um, he knows who he made forgery for. And then maybe he ended up having, uh, you know, targeted. So the poison staff might have been a murder weapon aimed at him. He <laughs> Clavier with his air guitar. Leave the ridiculous flights of fancy to the Gaviner's song lyrics, please. Yes, Sonic, what is it? Why you... What's with the guy? Finally, something we agree on. <laughs> I just realized that tale of Tales of Our Eyes is... In... Eh? English? Why English? Uh-huh. Oh, I disagree. Come again. Recall if you would, the victim's reclusive lifestyle. Hid from the world, he avoided meetings, only contact with the outside world was the male. Now, if you wanted to kill someone you wouldn't, couldn't meet but you knew red letters, a stamp would be the perfect weapon. Oh, the accent. We're gonna bring the red letter. Isn't this the envelope, the one from seven years ago? Think about the text of the letter again. There were two pages in the envelope. This is page one and this is page two. And close stamp within three days. Sending the enclosed envelope, envelope with the enclosed tab within three days. Wait. The intro is in full English? And he would have died seven years ago. don't even know who sent that letter oh I see I'll try to listen to that afterwards it's not nice to pick on the 
Oh. Oh. Uh, Emma. I thought it was Kristoff. Oh, God. Well, like my Kristoff Gavin impression, did it sound like him? Don't quit your day job. You know, none of this would have happened if you just trusted in science a little more. You can find out if that stamp was in the envelope easy. The spray! Glare at me all you want, but science is on my side. The poison detection spray. Time to spray the envelope! You can open it on the authority of the court. Ta-da! We found the poison! That's Atrokinin Residue. A murder weapon from the past. Now, seven years later, it bears its fangs at last. Absolutely outrageous. Tell me why. Why didn't this murder take place seven years ago? Well, um, there's one possibility. Maybe Mr. Misha figured it out. He realized that the person who sent this letter wanted him dead. So he sent his reply with a different stamp. And put his decisive evidence in a frame. Oh no, it's him again. Ah, you're still here? Ah. He tried to stall us just for this thing. Like, I spark razor tooth brushel, claim the scoop as mine. Oh. This journalist is so troublesome, guys. So troublesome, indeed. Oh. Stamp is ticket straight to afterlife. End code. Uh oh, I think the witness is a bad influence on our judge. Very well, this court finds a different. Is this the bright future of our legal system? Prosecuting a ticket to the afterlife from seven years ago. Tickets for governor shows are invalid after two weeks. Yeah, why would he lick that stamp if he knows that it's poison? If he does know that it's poison. Guys, did you see him? His neck is like on to the right side. His head. Objection! Okay, then how do you explain the poison stamp that was in this envelope? Envelope. Oh, 
Even if your precious poison stuff did exist, Jeremy Shem never would have used it. That is all. Yeah, if he knows it's poison, why would he use it? He... I get it. Apollo, we were wrong the whole time. I'd like to bring some closure to the issue sometime this year. Mr. Justice, yes, Your Honor? Mm -hmm. Yes, we stand by our case, Your Honor. And if we find this fake, your wild fantasies will prove quite reasonable, yeah? The fake clue that's thrown us off the poison trail is none other than Drew Mission. The victim was a fake clue? Objection! Congratulations, you've completely lost me. So the fake evidence is none other than the master of the fake himself, the forger? I just had an idea! Here we go again! The victim was a fi He's not the real forger! The real forger is his daughter. One forger smelled the trap, one forger fell into the tap. Show us just who the real Drew Misham was. There's only one person. It's his daughter. Vera Misham. Yes, actually, Sonic. I like the art, I like the music in Apollo Justice. Who who said that Varys art doesn't look great?
it's adorable. He's staring holes into Prosecutor Gavin's face. I'm used to being stared at. Yes. She just admitted it. Yes, it was me. So, who tries to kill her? Recess. To be continued. Let's call it a day, guys. Look! Go guys. Ah. The the case is now getting much more interesting, so I'm excited for you guys to find out what the entire case is all about and I'm pretty sure you guys would, you know, enjoy the story about that. So, um tomorrow is the karaoke thingy and then on Saturday if I'm able to stream, I might continue playing um Follow justice so that we can finish the game and you know we can add a new one for next week on our schedule. Mm hmm Yes. Hello Conway, hi. We gotta get Isabel on some Mega Man to end her brain busting streak. Mm-hmm. Yes. Um, I think Alina's about to stream in a bit anyway, so you know, so you guys can go watch her stream because apparently she, I think she's supposed to stream at 8.40, but she's not yet online, so maybe she's just preparing for her stream, but yeah. So, I'm gonna end now so you could focus on watching her if you guys still don't need to wait sleep because you don't need to wake up early, yeah. So, thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I really appreciate all of you guys being here. Um, it really means a lot to have you guys around. And I'm really glad that, you know, when you guys are not feeling okay or when you're feeling down or, I don't know, you might be feeling some negative emotions or sadness and stuff. And, you know, when you guys come to the stream, it helps you guys a lot. It's really nice to hear about that because... I'm able to help you guys, you know, be able to have fun, just relax, and pretty much provide some safe space for you guys. So, yeah, it's really nice because that's one of the things that I want to be able to contribute as someone who's, you know, who streams and creates content like streaming and stuff. So, yeah, it, it really makes me happy knowing that um, whenever you guys stay on the stream, it helps you guys have fun and you know just have a good time so thank you so much guys thank you i'm trying to stay up till 6 a.m playing bg3 mm, don't you have anything important to do for tomorrow sonic because if you do please make sure not to stay up way too late so your body can rest up and you have energy for tomorrow okay don't try to stay up way too late so you don't get too tired and you don't get you're not prone to illnesses and 
yeah thank you so much guys i really appreciate you guys being here it's nice to have you guys around i know i always say that i always say this but it's just that i really am really grateful for all of you guys being here because as like what i mentioned i'm just some i'm just what i'm just here playing games and just talking to you guys so um it's not really that i feel like for me it's not really that big of a deal but you know that your support and your kindness has been overwhelming and even though that's the only thing that i do so i really really appreciate it guys thank you so much thank you and please make sure to always take good care of yourself please eat healthily stay hydrated with water especially nowadays because it's really hot um you might get dehydrated don't forget to drink plenty of water so you can you know you don't get dehydrated and then but you know most of all um please make sure to take maintain a consistent sleep schedule so your body can rest up and you know you don't your immune system doesn't get compromised so you guys won't get illnesses because if we um always stay up late um our immune system weakens and then we might end up getting sick more than usual so please make sure to not stay up way too late every now and then you could pretty much do that but just make sure it's not a daily thing so you know because that's not definitely good for you guys and yeah um please take good care of yourself not just physically but also mentally guys because sometimes um we get sick we get illnesses even though we you know we're not infected with a vaccine a, a virus or a bacteria but because of just the stress or some you know you've not you've not been taking care of yourself mentally so it shows up and manifests as physical symptoms so make sure to also take good care of yourself mentally guys and yeah i know it's really hard when stuff like that happens so what you can do is um you can do baby take it step by step baby steps or little steps just try to do something that you know that brings you joy or makes you ha happy or puts a smile on your face and like i always say it doesn't have to be something grand it can also be you know something small like drinking your favorite tea or you're eating your favorite chocolate and stuff like that you know um it doesn't you can still get um happiness from the little things in life it doesn't you know just always have to be grand so yeah just make sure not to forget about that because no matter what the day might be no matter how bad it might be there's still some stuff that you can be grateful for you just have to you know be present in the moment and try to take a look around and you'll find out that there really are stuff to be grateful for there are a lot of things that you, you know um that you are so lucky to have that's your you know your friends your loved ones your family your place the fact that you can eat food whenever you want whatever you want to eat there's so so many stuff guys so please always try to you know remember that no matter how bad that they might be you know there's still some good things that happen to you daily we just tend to not notice them because you know when bad things happen we mostly you know uh what i call this we mostly tend to focus on them and we forget about the good things that happen to us because our brain is pretty much just like that like when you try to focus on your sad emotion it will bring you more sad emotions so when you feel like you're going down that path try to look at the things in a different angle because happiness is just around you just like what Leluch from Kodia says happiness is like a glass sometimes you might not notice it there that it's there but if you just move it a little bit and the sun shines through it it will reflect the light and you'll be able to see that it's there so yeah mm -hmm. I'll, i'm trying to stay up for case play along but i don't think i'll make it if you can't make it don't worry too much side 10 um go rest up if you really need to i'm pretty sure k will understand that and there's still plenty of you know streams to come wherein you can play with her so don't worry about it too much Mm-hmm.
but yeah thanks a bunch guys i hope you will continue to have a wonderful morning afternoon or evening or night depending on where you guys are and please make sure to eat your breakfast lunch or dinner um you know especially if you haven't eaten yet and if you still have work or school at the moment good luck and i hope you do your best and if you still have chores uh yeah good luck with those chores but yeah i hope you guys will have a wonderful eve wonderful day and i'll see you guys tomorrow we'll be doing the vertical setup for karaoke so that means we'll be streaming on like uh, uh what do you call this streaming uh you guys it's much better for you guys to watch on your mobile devices because you know it's gonna be a vertical setup and yeah i'll I'll be expecting you guys there and if you guys have some song requests or song recommendations I'm gonna be listening to them later after the stream just go comment it on the community tab I just basically made a post about that so I can see what types of music you guys like and would like to hear and I'll try to learn them as much as I'll, I'll have to learn this all of them as much as possible and yeah i hope i'll be able to so i can sing your the songs that you requested so thanks a bunch again guys i hope to see you guys tomorrow and have a wonderful night everyone good night and see ya bye bye